We share a sense of wonder at the incredible beauty and diversity of ocean life. Coral atolls, large fish, and the myriad of extraordinary plants and animals inhabiting the sea. It takes our breath away. Fortunately for us, the ocean gives our breath back to us. It generates oxygen, provides our food, our weather, and so much more. A limitless horizon, profound depths, diversity, unspeakable beauty. It's hard to believe that something so ancient and so vast can be so fragile. Threats from overfishing to habitat damage to ocean acidification are threatening the ocean life we love and depend upon. To counter these threats, Marine Conservation Biology Institute is leading efforts to protect, restore, and sustainably use our ocean ecosystem. In 2006, MCBI joined forces with other ocean advocates to successfully lobby President Bush to establish the first Marine National Monument in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument hosts vibrant and healthy coral reefs and is home to albatrosses, green sea turtles, and the rare and endangered Hawaiian monk seal. MCBI's team of scientists and policy experts continued working with their partners, urging the president to continue his blue legacy. In early 2009, the president protected an additional 195,000 square nautical miles of U.S. waters in the Pacific Ocean covering three regions. These are some of the healthiest ocean ecosystems in the world. The Pacific Remote Islands include Palmyra Atoll, Kingman Reef, Howland, Baker, and Jarvis Islands, as well as Johnston Atoll and Wake Island. These Central Pacific Islands support a large number of nesting seabirds and migratory shorebirds. These undisturbed coral reefs contain hundreds of thriving fish species, large apex predators, and endangered sea turtles. The Marianas Trench Marine National Monument is the deepest place in the ocean. Rose Atoll Marine National Monument protects the healthy coral reef ecosystem around a remote part of American Samoa. Rare species of nesting petrel, shearwaters and terns thrive here. The surrounding waters are home to many species depleted elsewhere in the world including giant clams and reef sharks. In the absence of direct human threats, these islands and reefs provide scientists and managers a natural laboratory to figure out what damages may have already occurred in these ecosystems and what we could do to help them recover. Protecting whole islands and large reef ecosystems, and indeed the whole web of life, provides the resiliency necessary to recover against the large-scale influences of increasing seawater temperatures, altered current and weather patterns, and ocean acidification. The ocean is vital for so many reasons. Whether the ocean touches us directly or not, our influences touch the ocean. The rich traditions of the sea, the food we rely on, new medicines, our play and our economic pulse all depend on a healthy ocean. The ocean connects not only the continents and the far-flung atolls, the ocean connects us to each other and to all life on the planet. Protecting the ocean protects us. Marine Conservation Biology Institute is dedicated to protecting ocean life through science and conservation advocacy. We turn ideas into action. MCBI champions ocean conservation. We use the latest science to illuminate the biggest threats so we can bridge the gulf between scientists and policymakers. MCBI works nationally and globally to safeguard ocean ecosystems and wildlife and to prevent overfishing, destructive fishing methods, and climate change. Please join me in supporting the fine work of the Marine Conservation Biology Institute. 
they really make a difference.